so I have some exciting news for you today. I Since yesterday, I've started attending online the Angoulême um, International Rights Festival. And um, let me see. Angoulême Rights Market Conference. So what is the Angoulême Festival? The Angoulême Festival is uh, located in uh, France, in the um, north west side of France, very close to Cognac, where they produce Cognac, Courvoisier, etc. And um, every year at the beginning of the year, in January, there is a festival, an international festival of comic books. It really is the Comic-Con of France and Europe, and a lot of players from all over the world, Asia, uh, the Americas, um, and the rest of Europe, come to the uh, Angoulême Festival. It's extremely highly regarded in the comics uh, in the comic books industry. And as a fan of comic books, which is what I am, um, you can go there and buy some hard copies of your favorite strips. And then because some of the offers are here, you can have some uh, dedicas. So basically um, a little, you know, signature as well as a little uh, doodle made by the, uh, by the offer on site um, um, at, at the conference after you've been queuing for like 30 minutes to an hour. So I, I've attended as a, as a comic books fan um, the Angoulême Festival like three or four times when uh, I was a teenager and a, a young adult. And um, it's very cold. <laughs> it's very cold at that time of the year, it's part of France, but it really is exciting. So what's happening in the market in the uh, the publishing world is that now these festivals, these markets as well, trade markets are going online. And um, because the physical edition of, uh, uh, of 2021 of the Angoulême Festival cannot happen um, at the moment because of the various um, COVID-19 restrictions, uh, they have they, go, they they plan they plan to have a physical session um, during the third week of June 2021. But what we are doing now um, at the normal um, time of the uh, of the uh, Angoulême Festival is that they're having this uh, conference about uh, about publishing rights, and it's fascinating. So. Some of the takeouts from these conferences, there's still another one tomorrow, uh, but uh, nonetheless, I can uh, let you know some of the things I've learned during these various conferences, is that around the globe, um, sales of comic books have actually gone up uh, from 2019 to 2020. During the first lockdown, uh, which uh, in most European countries happened during uh, March to April 2020, everything was closed down. So um, it was more difficult for, uh, for fans and consumers to actually buy their usual comic books because all the uh, uh, bookstores were closed and the only places where they could buy some of the, uh, of, of the comic books were in um, supermarkets. Why? Because in most French supermarkets, like really large, large supermarkets, there's usually a um, a section which is dedicated to uh, to press, to to um, to uh, books, and there's a section, uh, especially for kids, which is for comic books. So, uh, but usually it's not. It's like the uh, middle of the road kind of comic books. If they're not going to do some cutting edge kind of comic books for you know like. Uh, uh, adult comic books, etc. is going to be all the Tintin and Asterix, etc. So anyway, um, during the first lockdown, this is where consumers, in particular in France, were able to actually, you know, stock up in comic books. Uh, but then during the second lockdown, and also when uh, uh, um, uh, uh, bookshops reopened, then uh, they were able to also find some new novelties, some new uh, titles, which had been added to the catalogue. And... Um, and to that, that, that way, as well as, of course, the usual suspects like Amazon, etc., and Fnac.com, Fnac.com for France, etc. And so um, the sales of comic books uh, went seriously up from 2019 to 2020, probably due to the fact that other cultural activities, such as going to the theatres, the, the, the cinemas, going to museums, you know, playing um, sports together as, as a team, like football, etc., were uh, pr prohibited. It was not possible to do these activities. So, um, in addition to streaming, because I think a lot of people um, 
also bought um, uh, streaming memberships for to, to watch videos and films on, online on their platform on their um, on their um, uh, TV sets as well as uh, as devices. Um, the sale of books and in particular comic books went massively up, which is a good thing. I think it's a it's a it's a good good um, you know a good activity to have um, during a lockdown to to read, um, be it. Uh, uh, normal books or comic books and uh, the sale of mangas as well went up a lot so I understand that mangas are usually read by um, the age group between um, 12 years old to like young adults 18 20 years old and uh, but otherwise the sale of comic books went up um, for all age spans from like the kiddies the kids uh, to up to you know uh, 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 comic books for adults um, and I think, yeah, I think this is really a great, uh, a, a great, um, uh, you know, uh, data to have. And um, I'm actually in the process of writing a, 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 an article about um, monetizing your uh, copyright in uh, the publishing industry for offers. So that's uh, that's going to be interesting data to use um, while I write this article and research for, for this piece. And um, yeah, so um, the future is bright. And as a creator, a content creator, bear in mind that um, comic books are doing extremely well. Um, bye for now.